Hi everyone, Chris here with another vinyl video and this one is a response to Ned's 200 subs contest to show punk. I might even be a bit late for the contest but I thought it was worth doing anyway and I'm keeping a Kiwi running through New Zealand punk on vinyl um, chronological order of music, not necessarily of the records because some of them are reissues. Um, what we're listening to now is a seminal New Zealand punk compilation AK-79 came out in 1980, collecting bands from the Auckland punk scene, the first wave of punk. This is a reissue that came out a few years ago in pretty limited numbers, uh, with the original disc and an additional disc as well. Um, the inner sleeves here, documenting that punk scene. Uh, bands like The Scavengers, The Tearaways, Proud Scum, and uh, it's got this booklet with it detailing all of the scene as well. It's a pretty much an essential uh, New Zealand album if you're into punk. One of the bands that features on there are the Scavengers. This collection of their songs came out in the early 2000s and it's also got some excerpts from a, I think it's from a, a TV documentary about them as well, so a little kind of spoken bits in there as well. Nice compilation. I think there's a limited version of that on red, that's the black vinyl version. The Androids are another band from the 70s, one of the first wave of New Zealand punk bands. This came out, uh, this just came out a few years ago, and this is their single on red vinyl pressed up on 12 inch. Uh, spray paint cover it on there. Toy Love are another big punk bands in, in the early 80s, kind of a new wave touch to them but live certainly had a lot of punk energy, raw energy, uh, featuring members from The Enemy who completely were a punk band and this is a great uh, live record that came out for Record Store Day, Real Groovy Records 2012, two discs on pink. Then going into the 80s we've got uh, of the start of Oi, No Tag, Can We Get Away With It, live album, and No Tag, Oi Oi Oi, I've shown this before, 12 inch, classic New Zealand, early 80s punk, as is this, No Idea, and uh, Class War, Rugger Bugger, Kick Down That Wall, this is from the mid 80s, 1985, to know one of the guys, Nigel, used to be in this band. I might have said this before, um, but when I knew him, he was busking, playing accordion on the streets of Dunedin. They broke up because of the skinhead um, following that they started to attract. And then on to the late 80s, bands like, this is probably my favourite era of New Zealand punk, bands like Nazgul. It's a one side studio, one side live. And um, that scene of that late 80s is also gathered together on this compilation, Celebrate the Sonic Arts. And this is still pretty readily available actually, you see this around all the time, not too hard to get. It's got bands like uh, Skank Attack, Flesh Device, Harry Death, Bygone Era, The Warners. And probably into the early 90s now, uh, late 80s, early 90s, when are these from? Maybe 80s actually. Compass Mentis, this is my favourite stuff. Compass Mentis, um, this is the, all these bands, you know, into kind of uh, anarchy, veganism, and so on, political statements. So the sleeve folds out into this poster. This is an awesome record. Um, what's on here? Uh, noise, Bullshitters, The Mighty Bomb. Absolutely brilliant stuff. And another Compass Mentis one here. Backlash, this is a split with Power Age, I think, from South Africa. And this, this is magic, this. New Zealand, that's a New Zealand 7 inch compilation. So on here you've got Acid Rain, Holocaust, Defiance, Nazgul, and Mindfuckers. Brilliant band, I saw them live back in the day. They had this huge, tall singer with this enormous, great big blue mohawk. Um, fantastic band. I've got cassettes by then as well, but um, it's that 7 inch compilation. They're on another couple of compilations as well. 
Now, into the, the uh, late 90s, 2000s, Balance, Hardcore is My God, Never Quit, Sacrifice, Truth, Respect and Spirit on blue vinyl. And Somerset, Melodic Hardcore, a couple of LPs of theirs. Uh, say what you want. It's probably it's more. It's much more rock kind of sound on this one, which is on purple vinyl. But um, as far as Somerset goes on vinyl, this album, fast cars, slow guitars, absolutely killer. And getting up to the kind of uh, modern day, Gripper, Vicious Rumor. These are kind of 80s oi influenced punk bands currently playing around New Zealand with kind of snot green vinyl and this is awesome Rogenomics from Wellington so Rogenomics uh, Rogenomics think of Reaganomics Roger Douglas was the architect of the kind of uh, all of the uh, new right neoliberal economic reforms in New Zealand in the late 80s uh, and so Rogenomics was the name given to that this, uh, the idea of the trickle down economics and so you've got kind of current politicians on the back there John Key, our Prime Minister with his eyes gouged out um, Rodney Hyde from the Right Wing Party Act and songs on here Missing Brain Sales, Punk Culture Voice of the Nation, bought in, sold out so classic political punk and to finish off uh, a bit of a novelty but there's a story behind this Punk Nursery Rhymes so this is things like London Bridges Falling Down, Three Blind Mice, Row, Row, Row Your Boat, Merry Merry Quite Contrary, all done in that kind of classic first wave of punk style. And uh, there's a great book about the New Zealand punk scene and um, apparently this was quite a well-known punk band of the time who uh, were hired to go into the studio and record these, but they did it on the condition that they remain anonymous so they wouldn't lose all of their street cred. So um, another New Zealand punk album, punk, I don't know if you call it a classic, Punk Nursery Rhymes by the Rotten Eggs. So there you go Ned, congratulations on your 200 subs uh, and there's a run through some Kiwi Punk for you.